Hey everybody, we are on live! I made it! I made it! Today, 11! I'm so excited! I did not want to get on today. Do you guys see that it's like almost 5 o'clock and I have avoided it all day long and I was thinking I would just post something that said like, I'm not getting on today guys, peace out, have a great Saturday, it's the weekend! But then I thought, you know what? No, I'm gonna get on. I'm gonna talk about something that just gets my fires burning, you know? And it's called anxiety. Does anybody else have anxiety? Do you guys have anxiety? Do you guys have anxiety? I have crazy anxiety. And let me just tell you, I've learned a lot about anxiety, okay? So let's take it back a few notch. Take it back a few notches. I want you guys to tell me right now, or think to yourselves right now, when was the last time that you had some negative voices in your head? Like that negative chatter that likes to have a party in your head, you know what I mean? And then it invites all of its friends and everybody's having this negative party chatter going on. Do you guys know what I mean? Like, yeah, okay, yeah, I see you, I see you. Uh, yeah, so if you guys need, what we need to realize is that those thoughts that we have in our head, those negative thoughts that you might go to sleep with, the negative thoughts that you wake up with, you need to realize those, those thoughts, they are setting the tone for your emotions for the day. They are going, those thoughts, you think that you can keep them to yourself. No, nah. no, nah. you cannot keep them to yourself because what they do is they come out in our emotions, all right? And our emotions then dictate our actions for the day. So all of those thoughts that you have, that little pity party that we have in our heads, dictate our entire life. Your entire life is driven by the chatter in your head. So what do we do? The first thing you have to do, guys, you have to recognize it for what it is. Like be like, oh, okay, I hear you little chatter. I hear you little negative chatter. I know who you are. You're not gonna do this today. And you have to fight it. You have to change your thoughts. If you want to change your life, you have to change your thoughts. You have to think successful thoughts, think positive thoughts, stop worrying about the things that do not matter, okay? And realize, guys, that when we have anxiety, it's because it's driven, our anxiety is driven from these negative thoughts. But, there's a big but with anxiety. If you have anxiety, if you've ever been medicated, or if you, let me say, if you've ever gone to the doctor for your anxiety, I guarantee you will probably get medicated. They will give you probably something like Xanax. And here's the thing, you don't really necessarily always want to try that first. There are so many things to do to fight anxiety before you do Xanax. And now if you're on Xanax, I'm not, I'm not hating on anybody that's on it. I've taken it myself, I've been on Zoloft before, but here's what I realized. When I was on those medications, and I think most people would respond the way I do, if you are a type A and they give you drugs for your anxiety or depression or anything that you have, it kills your motivation, it kills your drive, it kills your creativity, it kills your type A personality. And it makes you like, uh, I'm just gonna like chill right now. And yeah, that's great to chill. Chill all you want, chill. But just realize that when you're chilling, you are not like a go-getter. And you've gotta be a go-getter. We wanna go, 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 create, create, content, content, quantity of work, output, output, all day long. And anxiety, if you recognize that your anxiety is providing that, that go, 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 you can be like, oh, I see you anxiety. I see you sneaking up on me, and I think that you, anxiety, you wanna take me down right now, but you know what? No, you're not gonna take me down. I'm going to bottle that anxiety up, and I'm gonna make it go in me and make it do something. I'm gonna, it's gonna drive me to do more work today, to be better today, to take action today. So recognize it for what it is, and recognize that your thoughts create your emotions, and your emotions create your actions, and your actions will therefore dictate what your life looks like. And you got one. We have this one wild, wonderful life to live and I don't understand, I cannot understand why anybody would be okay with sitting and doing nothing with it or just coasting or just living life day to day and living in mediocrity. I don't, I can't, I can't, I can't understand it. I can't understand it. Help 
me. Help me understand it. Because it, it makes me crazy. It makes me crazy. I see so many people with so much potential and yet they're living in mediocrity. And I don't understand that at all. There's one. We only have one. So make it great. Make it great. And make it scary. And make it, make it full of the unknown and just go out and live it. And think right now, what's the craziest ass thing that you could do? The craziest thing that you could do right now that would make absolutely no sense and that would terrify you. And I asked my husband that question the other day. And he's like, I don't know, quit my job. I'm like, yeah, you should quit your job, Nick. And he's like, I'm not going to quit my job. I'm working on it. He's not going to quit his job. But, you know, what's your crazy thing? Like start at the top and then work your way down to the bottom. There's things that you could do today. That's Saturday. That's day 11. You guys have a great day. And if you like this content, feel free to share it. Feel free to join our private group that I have where we produce more content like this. And we just have a community of women together being entrepreneurs and wanting to make more of our lives. And I love the motivation behind it. So join us there if you'd like to. And I will talk to you guys later. Day 11, done. Have a great week. Bye.